So I am Anina, that's my real name, but my artist name is Freya. I'm from Switzerland, from Zurich now. We are in Cham. This is the studio I produce in two times per week, and it's actually my second home. <laughs> I have been a very musical person all my life. I grew up with a lot of classical music. I played the violin for 10 years and my parents are very musical person. Everyone plays an instrument in my family. And in the middle of my 20s, I actually had my first gig with 24, but super unprofessional with this new remark, all in one thing and the iPad. And then I started producing, that was six years ago. And I always say like this six years ago, I started this musical career like completely. I left my old job. I was 10 years on, on TV. I left everything on the, at the height actually of my career, left everything behind, jumped into the music world and here I am. I wouldn't call myself primary a DJ because I am more a music producer. You know, music production nowadays has gotten really easy everyone can produce music. You can go on certain um, certain pages, there you can have a music construction kit for a whole song, you can just put the samples together and there you go, you have a song. Also with the AI, I mean everything gets really easy, that's why there are a lot more people who produce music. Music production is one thing but I, I compose also. This is like, it's like an, or an orchestra, I compose, it's a composition and that actually makes me a musician because I use my own violin, I use my instrument, I use my voice. This is like my world. Creating something, creating something for other people, I think is amazing. I, um, I have worked in fashion for 10 years. When I was at my first fashion show there and I, I stood there and it got dark, the curtains opened and there was this music. And that was, I think, one of the first times, like, oh, this is so amazing what you can create such a vibe in that room, it really it really got to me. So that was the first time I really saw that fashion and, and music are really interlinked. That is the crucial point. If you're really able to create that one certain atmosphere together with the crowd, then you've done it. <laughs> I mean, that it's very, very difficult. And that is the thing that you can't, you can't just press play and put in a playlist because every crowd, every venue is completely different. Sometimes, I mean, I'm a, I'm a person who always prepares for sets, like in a sense that I think I, I feel like playing this and this, that this is my mood. And then it can be that I don't play a single track of that playlist because just when I get there it's completely different than I thought and if then you can start playing your own stuff and it's your own music on top of that I mean that's wow I can tell you I haven't really found my style yet as a as a performer on stage so for me it's very interesting to discover myself a bit new now 40 up age-wise with a kid um, with a lot in my backpack but with a new direction. So for me, it's also been a turning point.